So today we're going to be starting our Let's Learn on Adonis. Adonis is a Node.js framework that's extensive and type safe. Out of the box, it includes much of what you're going to need for the entirety of your project's development. This includes things like routing, form validation, template engines, serializations, a SQL ORM, migrations, seeds and factories, authentication, security, health checks, and a unified profiler. Throughout the series, we're going to be covering Adonis.js 5. This version of Adonis is still in preview. However, as things change and progress towards the full release of version 5, I will update this guide accordingly. If you'd like to learn more on your own about what Adonis is, you can head to preview.adonisjs.com. I'll have the link down below to check out the active documentation for their preview of Adonis.js 5. There are a couple of prerequisites you're going to need to meet in order to progress through this series. Adonis 5 requires Node.js version 12 or later and NPM version 6 or later. You can check the version of both of these in your terminal by running node-v and npm-v. If you're using Node version manager and you need to upgrade like I do, you can run mvm install and then the version of Node that you'd like to install. The latest common release at this time is version 14, so I'm just going to go ahead and install version 14. And as you can see, it's already installed. If you already have it installed and you need to change to it, you can change to it a single time by running mvm use 14 and this will change to your version 14 installation. Or if you'd like to set the newly installed version as your default version anytime that you open up your terminal, you can back out of this and run nvm alias default and then 14.15.1 or whatever version you installed. Now we can check our node version again and you can see we are now using 14.5.1. And then upgrading our node version should have also upgraded our npm version and we can confirm that by running npm v. Okay, so now that we meet the requirements for Adonis.js version 5, we should be good to go ahead and progress with creating our application. To do this, we can run npm init Adonis TS app and then our application name, we'll just call this Adonis 5. Go ahead and hit enter. Next, it's going to ask us which type of project structure we want to use, either an API server or a web application. Web applications out of the box include the template engine, sessions module, support for static assets, and security like CSRF protection. And then the API server will be more fledged for an API application, including things like cores and JSON content negotiation. For this series, we're going to be building a web application, so let's go ahead and select web application. We'll run with the default project name, we'll skip ESLint, and there we go, our project is now created. We can go ahead and CD into our project, Adonis 5. If we could start the local server by running node ace serve with the hyphen hyphen watch to watch for changes, and we can go ahead and open up the port, and we can see our project is now working. 